declutter we're confronted with bad decisions bad decisions that we've made yeah yeah that's a bad one but uh i i think it'll just come apart to be honest oh yeah watch yeah look at that things went around the stump. I gotta move this thing. for being here with me today. I really hope that you enjoy today's video. What is today's video? Wow. <laughs> Today is video number one of my mini series. Yep, the garage edition. Not sure if that's how I'm gonna title this, but uh, I have to declutter and organize and rearrange my entire garage little backstory on the garage. The garage is the dumping grounds for anything and everything. Not everything and anything. Wait. Which way is it again? It doesn't matter. But anywho. That is where everything that Ian and I have kept for over the last decade has gone to die. <laughs> um, the garage is very different from the mudroom and the entryway. Those two areas are areas where things also go to die, but they are th 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 those are places, th 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 <laughs> those are places where uh, things have accumulated in a short period of time, whereas the garage is the area where things have accumulated for over a decade. Those, I mean, literally there's everything in the garage. There's everything in the garage. And I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot in there. I don't even know, I don't even know what I have in there. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot in there that I probably haven't seen in years. I'm stalling still. I'm getting hot. Uh, I don't have a plan, you guys. <laughs> I don't have a plan on how I'm gonna do this. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it, okay? <laughs> oh, you know what I just remembered? Oh man. Why? Everyone's gonna see me. It's not like the mud room where I was able to sort of, kind of hide you. You're gonna be wide out in the open. I'm gonna get looks. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> they already think I'm weird anyway, so what does it matter? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> this is, <laughs> is it bad? Is it, is it bad? <laughs> I think it might be bad. I would say it's a garage. It's a garage. Is it, is it bad? I don't know. <laughs> It's bad. I know. It's bad. There's a lot. There's a lot of bit of everything. There's just a lot. This is going to be a lot. It's going to be a mini series. It may be more than a mini series. Who knows? 
but it's bad. There is just a lot of stuff and things and more stuff with more things. Just, you know, a lot of stuff and things with more things and stuff. <laughs> Am I embarrassed to show you the garage? Well, you betcha. You betcha. I'm embarrassed <laughs> because why? I am saying a lot of words because I have no words for this garage. Yep. If I may for a moment explain myself, I can't. And we're going to get started. <laughs> I have you in the mud room. But I might have to move you. Everyone is gonna see me, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna actually talk quiet for the first time ever in my life. So I say we just shut the doors and just leave it. And maybe it'll go away. If we don't see it, it's it's not here it's here it's here and it's driving me nuts i gotta get it cleaned i gotta get it organized and we have to declutter most importantly we have to declutter it's a lot i know i know i just hope the lighting doesn't keep doing this i wonder if i back up if it all can you see that see that's the problem i don't think you can I wonder, hold on a second. I got an idea. Okay. <laughs> um, I think this is how I, I shut the garage door because, number one, literally everyone could hear me and see what I was doing, and I'm not going to be able to concentrate or focus. Ugh. Sorry, I'm jumpy. There was a mouse in my house. I'm like... I am terrified something is gonna pop up at me. Yep, terrified. <laughs> um, this is a lot. This is just, this is just, it's just a lot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have a plan. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know where to start. I do know that there's a bunch of scrap wood up there. And my dad, um, he came and picked up the, the um, he came and picked up the mice in here I know there's mice I what who is blowing up my phone I know that there is mice in here and I know that there's mice in the car and I don't want to be in here it's gonna be okay Danielle breathe just stay hidden wherever you are I feel like I need my coat back on because I feel like it's a shield hold on I'm wearing my husband's like sweater jacket thing I don't know why I feel I feel safer but that other jacket's going to be too hot because it's getting warm out. Anywho, um, I am, I am stalling, uh, because I don't want to do this. Um, okay. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. What? Why does that smell like musty? I think it sat in the wash machine too long. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm taking a eight showers when I'm done anyway. Um, so I guess my plan is I'm going to, I, some of this stuff I have to keep in here because I don't know where to place it. Why do we have two leaf blowers? Why? 
probably because Ian couldn't see the one that we already had. Didn't know we had it. Well, it's sitting right there. So that went, I don't know. I don't know. This bike can get donated. Donation stuff I'm gonna put in the mud room because the mud room's right here. So we're gonna get this out of here. Plus, we gotta, oops, we gotta clean out the garage because uh, my dad, we're gonna start working on the mud room. We gotta get a bunch of um, uh, sheetrock, like slabs or whatever we need. I think my dad said 20 of them. I don't know what that means. But we have to place them in here so we have them here. Like, okay, this tarp, why do I have that? This pool, the pool that's gotta go, what is this, is this empty? I feel like, um, will that fit in there? No. I feel like we should, what's in here? I hope you can see this okay. I'm so sorry about the lighting, always. I just didn't feel comfortable with the door open. People will stare at me and be like, she just gets weirder and weirder every day. Ah! Okay. I keep keeping these shelves because I was gonna do a DIY with them. I've said this like eight times now and I was gonna put them in the mud room. I just, we're, we're donating, that's it, no. I promise these are not, if I want shelves in the mudroom when we're done with it, then I will get ones that I actually like. I don't even like these. And now I've said this eight times, you guys, like, well, maybe not eight, but like so many times I've said this, like, and these are shelves that were in my bathroom in my old house, like 10 years ago. And that's how long they've been sitting. Like either in the mud room or in here. I don't know why they were in that box. Okay, we're gonna use this box for recycling. Um, I hate being scattered, you guys, but I'm gonna be scattered. It's just, this is not mine. Oh man. The carbonation's done. I dropped it. Who, this is my, this is Tom's. Yeah, this is my father-in-law's. I don't know why we have it in here. Ian's work boots, those are junk. Okay. Um, tarp, this, honestly, some of the, like, the, the clothes in here, I mean, why do we have a, we have like a big box of just recycling sitting back here. Like, it's just like, we just, this is what I'm saying. Like, we just started throwing stuff in here. This skateboard can go. I've, I've never seen anyone in this household use it. Same with this. This snowboard. What is this? This isn't a snowboard. What is this? I don't understand it. <laughs> that can go. We're just starting, you guys. We're just we're just going. This stuff is getting donated. This has got to get thrown dumpster. That's got to go in the dumpster. You know how many vacuum cleaners I've had in the last decade? So many. So my grandmother, my uncle, who both passed away. I inherited their vacuum cleaners. So there was a total of three. None of them worked. Then I had the blue Hoover one downstairs, which is gone. I think it's gone, I'm pretty sure it's gone. Although it may miraculously appear somewhere. Uh, the shark vacuum cleaner, I had asked Ian to get rid of that. I see it right here. <laughs> we, had, uh, we have the, uh, the green one that broke. So we ended up getting a new one that's orange. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And it's me, you guys, it's me. Anything electronic or technical, it hates me. So that stuff's gotta get thrown in the dumpster. This snow blower uh, is gonna get pushed back here. Cause I think what we're gonna do is all of the appliances are gonna go back here. This is a, 
like a man, like this is a snowboard. Um, let's see here, why? Have, you know how long I'm looking at this? You know how long, I don't wanna move it, something's gonna pop up at me, I know it. There's a punching bag over here that we've had for about eight years. It's never been used. Nope. But we just keep it in here. Same with this thing, the scooter. Oh, what's on it? The scooter, the snowboard thing, the, the, the skateboard and the bike. I'm gonna put all of that at the end of the road. See if anyone wants it. Just stay. Yep. Uh, Lucas's bat that goes in his room. Uh, is there anything over here that I can move? Oh my gosh, what is this? <gasps> it's our uh, router box. We gotta get that back. <laughs> oh! This is the light fixture that went in the entryway hallway, but I hate this light fixture, so I'm donating this. I don't like it. Right now, there's just light bulbs up on the ceiling, and I prefer the light bulbs versus that thing. What is this? What is this? Does anyone know what this is? Is this a CD player? Whatever it is, it's getting donated. What is that noise? Getting it out of here. What is that? Oh. Okay, this uh, hose, why, why? And all of this stuff right here is like, cabinetry stuff and um it's uh right here that is all like parts to the cabinets uh, uh screens to the four season i have more screens downstairs um this can go all of the scrap wood up there too there's a bunch of scrap wood right there where i'm pointing all of that's getting burned my dad is coming um and he's gonna grab all of the wood and he's gonna put it in his the pit, his pit. He's got a fire pit. But like, the shelves are from the kitchen and I had so many shelves. I'm like, I don't know what to do with all of these. Cause I ain't gonna use them. I know, I'm getting scattered. I'm getting scattered, I know. What is this? What does this even go to? Why? Okay, now I can move this. To where are you moving it, Danielle? You know what? 
I think anything that needs to get burned or dumped, we're gonna put up there. You know what? No, I can't. I can't even move this. Ah! I'm terrified. All right, let's talk about uh, the treadmill. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> sometimes when we declutter, we're confronted with bad decisions, bad decisions that we've made. Yeah, yeah, that's a bad one. Um, <laughs> it happens when we declutter it's emotional. I've said that a, a lot because it is emotional. It's, you know, sometimes we have feelings of sadness. Uh, we have feelings of, you know, sentimental feelings. Um, memories flood back in. And then there's times where we feel angry or upset because we've made bad decisions, bad purchases. Yep. <laughs> the treadmill was a bad decision. Ian and I bought the treadmill thinking years ago, thinking that, okay, it's bothering me, thinking that we would use it. And I was on board with the idea because I thought, you know what? I hate running. I do. I hate it. I don't run. I don't run unless I'm being chased. I hyperventilate going up my stairs. I don't like to run. I'm not a big exercise person, even though I should be. I know, I should be. I should get into exercising. But I know running is something that, uh, you know, actually we have family members that are runners, avid runners. Um, they, they, they're they runners and they love to run. And they talk about how, you know, almost like euphoric it is when they get to like this certain point of, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like they just get really good at it. They just go fast, fast. <laughs> you know, they go so fast where they feel the wind and breathe in their hair. What are you saying? <laughs> uh, the wind in their hair and it feels, it feels nice. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, where you just, it, it's its nice. It's its like, you know, they talk about how it's euphoric. It's good. Running is good. <laughs> Running is good. <laughs> I wanted to force myself to run. I wanted to force myself to be a runner. And I, I never did. I never used that treadmill. I never once used it. I didn't use it. I think, I don't know if, I don't remember if Ian used it or not, but the bottom line is we threw it out here and I have no idea if it works. I mean, the good news is it, it wasn't that expensive. It was already used. It was a used treadmill. But the bottom line is we spent money on it and we never used it. And now I'm sitting here looking at something. I'm confronted with a bad decision. I am now confronted with a really bad decision and I feel guilty about it. I feel guilty that we spent money on something that we never used. You know, I think the idea of the treadmill was a good idea. Like I I really wanted I really wanted to do it, but I knew deep down inside I was never going to use it. I I knew I wasn't going to have the time, the energy, nor do I like it. I think with exercising it's something like if you're gonna exercise and you're really gonna get into it, I think it's about finding 
stuff that you really enjoy and like. For some people, it's swimming. Others, it's biking, yoga, Pilates, dancing, stuff like that. Uh, tennis, you know, sports activities, whatever it is, you usually find something that you actually enjoy and that's what keeps you exercising. That's what keeps you going. Not picking something that you hate. I hate running. I don't like it. <laughs> I hate running. I always hated running. I was the kid on the, well, I was the big kid. <laughs> like, I, I, I was the kid that when they were in gym, I walked the laps when they made you do the mile, you know, you know, when you were in school and they made you run a mile, like the mile, they just made you run. My gym teachers were always so like, I don't think they liked me because I wouldn't run. <laughs> but anyway, I did, I don't like running and I don't know why I thought that I could force myself to enjoy it. So how do I move forward when we're confronted with bad decisions? How do we move forward? And honestly, I think like this is how I'm doing it. I'm letting go of the guilt. I understand we made a bad purchase, but I'm not gonna hold guilt over it. It's in the past. I can't change the past. I can't go back in time and take this purchase back. I'm not gonna gain, lose, or save money by keeping it here, storing it in the garage where it's not doing anything over it. I'm just going to let it go and realize that I made a bad decision and it's a lesson learned. I mean, seriously, it's a lesson learned. I know now that I will never in the future <laughs> buy exercising equipment on exercising that I don't like, things that I just don't like to do. I would rather, you know, if, I think for someone who's really into exercising, buying exercising equipment, it makes sense. But for someone who doesn't exercise and is not into it, I need to do something where it's like a free activity where I'm like clicking onto YouTube and watching like yoga or Pilates or dancing. I'm sure YouTube has everything. I'm sure they have something like that. I think it's so easy to throw bad purchases in hidden spaces because you're not confronted with it. And I that and I, I did that all the time. I, I, I would do that all of the time. Like I didn't like seeing the clutter, but I also didn't like seeing the bad purchases, um, the guilt purchases and the things that I regretted, I would hide it. And this is one of them. I would just hide it. And, but eventually, you know, it always stays with you. It's always in the back of your mind. It's always stressing you out. Avoiding the problem is not good. And that's what this was. It was avoiding an issue. And that's a problem. That was long. I'm always long. Okay. Well, I can't do anything with it. What am I doing over here? Um, yeah, these are all DVDs, um, all of these are DVDs that I, I don't know why we, I don't know why I'm keeping DVDs. I, I basically threw DVDs out here because, just because we spent money on it, but we don't use DVDs anymore. Like we just don't, um, I don't even think we have a DVD player anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of this. This is all getting donated. I don't know what to do with this tarp. I don't know if Ian wants it, so I'm gonna throw it up there. Um, I'm gonna wipe this down and donate this because it's, yup. Okay, um, this, I need, well, that is the section over there for, uh, you know, stuff, stuff like this. So, ugh. Keep it there for right now, because that's gotta go over there too. And what, don't even look at the car. We're not even looking at this section. This side, this side is for another time. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up today's video here soon. I just wanted to get this side done. What is this? These are all books. Normally I would, I would go through these. 
I have not seen these in years. Um, there's no, if, if I haven't thought to go through these and look at them and go through them in however long it's been, then clearly I don't care about them. So they're all getting donated. This whole, I'm not even going through it. It's just going. To don't touch your face or your hair with your gloves nasty I'm checking myself out I took my hat off it was itching my ha head hair what there's not enough coffee in the world for me today why is there an electronic drum set back here and speakers? Why? 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 They're going goodbye. Good day to you. Where's the other one? I don't want you no more. No, I don't. What's on it? Yuck. <sighs> Speakers are going. There's an electronic drum set back there. That's going to. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's all of this? There is a ton of tools in that garage, specifically on the other side of the garage. But here's this box of tools, and it reminded me of something. So in here, I'm looking, and I see this power drill. <laughs> that was loud. And I'm like, good grief, Ian. You have eight power drills. I'm over-exaggerating. He doesn't have eight, but he's got a lot. Okay, and it's, it's either more than one. And I'm like, why? Why do you have so many drills? Why? And this is what happens. See, Ian will use a drill and he'll place it, you know, in the garage or the mudroom or under a car, maybe the bathroom, who knows? <laughs> it's always a surprise when we find tools all around the house. But he forgets where it is or he loses it. It's somewhere around the house, but he doesn't know where it is. So he goes out and he buys another one. And I was looking at this drill and I was thinking, literally how many drills do you need, Ian? How many? And I went to go look you know, more into the box. I started to dig further into the box. <laughs> and he's got another one in the same box. <laughs> Two in the same box. <laughs> My theory is that he lost one of them, bought another one, found the other one, and threw it in this box. The problem when we're disorganized, when we have a lot of clutter around, when we're disorganized, we're losing time by searching for stuff. We're losing time, we're wasting time and energy by, by trying to find our stuff. When we have a lot of clutter and we're disorganized, we can't, we usually have a hard time finding our stuff because it doesn't have a permanent home. It is so key to have permanent homes for all of your items so you're not wasting time trying to search for them. But also, being organized, having less clutter, being organized, having permanent homes for all of your items, it saves you money. It truly does. I'm guilty of this too. Ian and I have lost things because we didn't put things back into their permanent homes and we go out and we buy another one. And usually what happens is X amount of time goes by and we found what we lost, <laughs> but we've already replaced that item 
because we thought we lost it. We thought maybe it was gone, it got thrown, whatever the case may be. So now we have multiples of items. I cannot tell you how many times that's happened to Ian and I, where we've lost something, we go out, we replace it, then we find the item, and now I have multiples. I had a lot of multiples. This is how clutter accumulates. This is how time and money is wasted. I wanted to bring that up because the drills <laughs> just reminded me of that. So anyway, um, that's Ian's box to go through. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna call it a day, but we're, we have there's a lot more to go through. <laughs> so yeah, some stuff just has to get pushed to the side for right now. But we're making progress. Yeah, yeah. Is it as bad as it? Is it bad? Is that that's not normal to have a garage like that? Is it? Please tell me I'm normal. <laughs> okay, let's finish up. So this is uh, the tub where I kept Ian's uh, jerseys and uh, like suits and stuff. I showed that in a previous video, but it was originally in the mudroom. But when we started working on the mudroom, I pushed it in here. But this really should go downstairs. sentimental item so this right oh this right here uh, is like a I don't know what this is like a bird bath or something uh, oh look at that more tools oh, this is Ian's grandfather's tools I gotta make a, a pile for tools I just do um, this was a bird bath and it was Ian's grandmother's. There's like a big, like, it looks like a big stump. Uh, I know it's a little hard to see. And then this goes on top of it. And then there's some little figurine things. Like there's a, a, a fawn and a frog that I think goes around it. This thing is incredibly heavy. And it was Ian's grandmother's um, and I I don't I don't know she has passed I don't know if he wants to keep this but it's been sitting in our garage since it was brought to our home I I don't I'm gonna be honest with you I don't want it I I don't I don't want it I don't know if you can see that um but I also don't know if he wants it. Uh, that's the problem. Uh, this needs to get thrown, which I, like I stated, thought it already was gone. Apparently it's not, uh, but that's gotta go, like go, go. Uh, oh, right here. So like, oh, uh oh, oh, that's just a piece of concrete. So like, it, it comes with like this stuff, and yes, it is very cute. Don't get me wrong, it's cute. But it's not my my taste. Um, and the frog. <laughs> I think those things went around the stump. I gotta move this thing. Come on. <laughs> I can 
shimmy it. <laughs> but it's got like a little squirrel. Um, and I think like the animals, you see that? The animals went with it. I, this is not my thing. It, it's, it's just not. Um, it's heavy. So I kind of want it out of the way though. Um, my neighbors are outside. You can hear them. I think what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to do is just shimmy it back there by the treadmill. I'll have Ian decide if he wants it or not. I, I just, yeah. I, I don't know how sentimental this is for him. I highly doubt it is. More speakers. Of course. Of course there's more speakers. Here's a... For what reason? What is this? Oh, you know what? This can go. This is just a thing full of shoes. It's like, I think it's sport shoes. This is going. This is getting donated. This is Ian's welding hat, helmet, whatever. So we're gonna keep that there. This shelf, what's going on? What's going on? Come back, come back. Yep, there we go. This shelf, which is was probably built in 1901, um, it's, uh, it, it's done and it was the previous owners. It was probably, it was probably here when the home was built. <laughs> like the previous, 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 previous owner. <laughs> but it was all the way back in the garage and I put it up here. I moved it away because I used it to store some of these items. Uh, we gotta break it and, and we're, gonna, we're gonna throw that in the wood pile as well. But uh, I, I think it'll just come apart to be honest. Oh, yep, watch. Yep, look at that. end of today's very long and chatty video <laughs> um there's some things though that I wasn't able to get to there's always so much that I want to talk about <laughs> but I will be sure to talk about that in the next video in the next video we are going to work in the garage again this is going to be a mini series there's there's a lot of work to be done to this garage there's just a lot uh, we're going to focus more on the vehicle in the next video because <laughs> there's stuff on top of the vehicle and in the vehicle. There's a microwave in the back of the vehicle. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I have to clear out the vehicle before I can get rid of the vehicle. But um, we're going to focus on that <laughs> in the next video. But uh, I'm very happy with the progress that was made. There are stuff that is still sitting in the garage in the section that we cleared out because that's stuff that has to get lifted out of there. Those are more heavier items. So I do have to wait to get a trailer to lift all of that stuff, all of the heavier stuff out, but I'm very happy with the progress that was made. That section that we worked on is pretty cleared out. I got rid of a full garbage bag of garbage. My recycling bin is full. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a picture of all of the items I'm donating. The thing with all of the donation items is that I do have to go through it. What I mean by go through it I'm, I'm not going through the decluttering process at all. They're all going. All of the donation items are just going. 
I am sticking to one task when I'm going through all of those items and that is to disinfect, to wipe it all down and to make sure it's all in good working condition. I also have to wash any clothes that is donatable. That is the only thing that I'm doing with those donation items because I only donate items that are in good, great, new or working condition. Um, so I do have to go through all of that stuff, but I promise, I promise it's all going, all of it. I will not be keeping any of the donation items, any of it, even though I do have to check all of it, I will not be keeping any of it, I promise, because all of that stuff was clearly stuff that I didn't care enough about to go and look at it when it was sitting in the garage. I forgot about it. I haven't gone into the garage to look through it. This is stuff that I clearly didn't care about. It's all going. So anyway, um, what else was I going to say? There's always so much that I want to say. <laughs> I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff, but I'll be sure to talk about it in the next video. But I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you so much. And we will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everyone.